From Software is a mainstay in the gaming community. The games they have made in the last 15 years have garnered a huge fan base and a community that loves every ounce of it. But I'm not here to sing my praises for FromSoft. My goal is to take a look at every boss from the Soul series, Bloodborne, Sekiro, and Elden Ring, and give it a rating. Rating things like presentation, lore significance, music, and gameplay. So without further ado, let's jump into our first boss. The official first boss, the Phalanx. The Phalanx, in my opinion, is the baseline for a decent boss fight. It's nothing spectacular nowadays, but with this being the first boss within the series, I could picture Phalanx being quite intimidating when first encountered. Imagine fighting through the first level, dispatching normal soldiers and angry hobos to finally open the main gate. A short cutscene shows the extremely large Ballista Spear being shot out into the open, an intimidating tactic, and gives the players some nerves as they finally move into the boss room. It's not a soldier, it's not a humanoid, and it's massive. It's weird and strange, and seeing this mass of enemies might make you panic for the first couple attempts. Remember, Souls games were new. Everyone was new when they first encountered this guy, and FromSoft also knew that. It was meant to be a challenge in strategic combat and a moment to teach players how to utilize the tools they were given throughout the level. These little hoplites show up very briefly before the boss. The player could practice fighting them one on one. You're also given fire bombs and turpentine, which enchanted your weapon with fire. These were items to try and signal to the player to try them on the boss, which is extremely weak to fire. In fact, it's so weak to fire that it basically trivializes the fight. This boss establishes a precedent moving forward and that you should take a careful look at the items you pick up to strategize and experiment. Now there isn't much here in terms of lore. It's a demon. It's turned these hoplite soldiers into demons and has basically adopted the defensive strategy of these soldiers. The inspiration for this defensive strategy derives from the ancient Greeks' phalanx formation, which is a nice historical nod. The original music for this fight gave a bit of energy to the atmosphere, but listening to the remix version of this song is like night and day. It's a vast improvement and I really enjoy the sense of horror and epicness that this song gives as you fight this monstrosity. So now for a rating. This is our first rating and will set the bar for future ratings so it is pretty important. But I firmly believe that Phalanx is a decent fight, but is definitely overshadowed by upcoming bosses. It's intimidating for a new player, it's strategic, and it teaches the player how to utilize items and weaknesses. It's a moderate difficulty, which is basically shot down to super easy once you learn weaknesses. But to be honest, as shocking as it is to see for the first time, compared to bosses coming later, it leaves a lot to be desired. It's also quite slow and the attacks are very basic. I give Phalanx a C overall. What do you guys think? How was your first experience with Phalanx? And I'll see you in the next video where we talk about Tower Man.